Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, we're out here at a beautiful place in North Carolina, and uh, we are flipping logs. And what I got here is a uh, Southern Two Line Salamander, or Eurecia cigarilla, I believe. And it is a male, as you can see the two proboscis things on the end of the snout. You see those two little things? But, uh, anyways. They get the name Southern Two Line from the uh, two black bars down the body, and uh, that's what dis distinguishes them from the three lined. And uh, the size will distinguish it from the Chamberlain's dwarf salamander because Chamberlains are really small. But uh, this is a relative of the species we're out here for, which is the Southern uh, or the three lined salamander, or Eurecia gutolineata. See, it's just cruising along. Salamanders are really cool. Um, this one's just beautiful yellow on the belly, the goldish brown on top with the black bars. Amazingly beautiful. They could jump, that's for sure. Jumpy little fellow. Now, in male salamanders, the purpose of the uh, the two little uh, projections on the snout, I think they're it's Syria, Syria or something. But uh, anyways, uh, the purpose of those is because there are two enlarged teeth on the front of the snout. And, uh, well, in the mouth. And those are used to stimulate the female when they're breeding. Sort of like a biting little thing they do. And so, yeah, they're really neat little species. I've only seen two. They're really cool. There's not very much about them that I could tell you about. But yeah, you guys, you find these guys out in uh, habitats like this, the the sloping hillsides with the little creek nearby. And uh, just flip the logs and you should find them. No trouble at all. Yep, I'm going to let this little guy back on his way. I'm going to this log so he can suck up some more moisture because he's pretty dry. So yep, see you guys later.